The New York City subway is a large and complex rapid transit system. As such, it has a very large fleet of work and maintenance of way equipment at its disposal to help it maintain its very old infrastructure. Today, we'll take a look at the work equipment that is currently in service as of June 2025. Before we begin, I would like to give a huge shout out and thank you to New York Subway Life, Keith O'Sullivan, and South London Railway Photography for allowing me to use their footage in this video. I'll put links to their channels in the description below and as cards in the top right corner. Also consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video as well as supporting me on Patreon. The link for that is also in the description. Also, also, I am planning on making a Q&A video at the end of August. If you have any questions you'd like to ask, feel free to leave them in the comments below. There may also be a password equipment video coming out in the future, so be sure to be on the lookout for that. This video will go through the rolling stock model still in service by type of car. It should also be mentioned that all work equipment, with the exception of the R30 and R42, are built to the A Division specification so they can run on the entire system. One last thing before we begin is that much of the subway's work equipment uses knuckle couplers as used on the mainline railroads, as opposed to the automatic couplers used on the passenger cars. This means that coupler adapters are often needed when couplers are incompatible. The first type of work car we'll discuss are the fleet of ballast tampers and ballast regulators. Ballast tampers are self-propelled machines that tamp or pack ballast, the rocks under the track, under the tracks to provide a more stable and durable roadbed. A ballast regulator is used to shape and distribute ballast along the track. There are eight ballast tampers, four of the R124 model, numbers TP231 to TP233, and four of the R148 model, numbers TP236 to TP239. The R148s entered service in 2003 and were built by Placer. There are two ballast regulator cars, both of which are the R172 or PBR 550T model, numbers BR004 and BR005. They are built by Placer and entered service in 2013. Next up are the crane cars. These cars are basically flat cars with walls and a crane mounted on top that are used to lift heavy objects in the confines of the subway tunnels where conventional cranes won't fit. It also means the subway doesn't have to rent cranes from other companies and that cranes can be taken directly to work sites without needing to leave the system. There are 40 crane cars currently in operation in the system, with 12 more undergoing delivery and 9 in the planning phase. The five R53s are one-ton cars built by Fuji Heavy Industries in 1979 and are numbered C251 to C255. The R three R173s are two-ton cars built by Fuji Heavy Industries in 1984 and are numbered C256 to C258. There are nine R102s, which are 10-ton cars built by Thrall Car Manufacturing Company, which are numbered C272 to C280 and were built in 1989. Thrall also built 12 R113 three-ton cars, which are numbered C260 to C271 and were built in 1991. Twelve more one-ton cars were built by Harsco Track Technologies in the R162 model in 2008 and are numbered C281 to C292. Twelve three-ton cars of the R253 model are undergoing delivery to replace the R113s. They are built by Arbit Industries and are numbered C301 to C312. Last is the R259, which will be an order of nine ton-ton crane cars to replace the R102s. The order is still in the planning phase. De-icer cars are used to remove ice from the rails in the winter. There are eight cars, six of which fall under the R71 contract. These cars were converted from retired passenger cars. The fleet came from the following car models. One former R14, four former R22s, and one former R21. The XR14 is numbered RD340, the XR21 is numbered RD345, and the XR22s are numbered RD341 to RD344. Additionally, two cars of the R161 model, more on them later, were converted into de-icer cars. Diesel-electric locomotives are used on the subway to pull work trains when the third rail is shut off. Diesel trains in the cramped subway tunnels goes about as well as you'd expect, with diesel fumes lingering in stations long after the train is passed through. There are 33 General Electric GE 45 tonners, two GE 47 tonners, 20 GE SL50s, 7 locomotives from Republic Locomotive Works, and 28 MPI MP8 AC-3s for a total of 90 diesel-electric locomotives. Additionally, 20 locomotives from Wabtec are being delivered to replace the older locomotives, and 10 R257 locomotives are being converted from the R77Es by Cab Railway Industries. The 45 tonners are split into the R37, 4 units numbered 50 to 53, entered service in 1965, R41, 6 units, numbered 54 to 59, entered service in 1968. R43, 3 units, numbered 60 to 62, entered service in 1971. 
R-47, eight units, numbered 63 to 70, entered service in 1975, and R-52, 12 units, numbered 71 to 82, entered service in 1977. The two 47 tonners are also from the R-47 contract and are numbered N-1 and N-2. These locomotives technically belong to the South Brooklyn Railway, which is one of two track connections to subway hatch to the National Rail Network, but in reality can be used on the subway as well. The SL50 locomotives are from the R77 contract, are numbered 883 to 902, and entered service in 1983. The R120s are the locomotives built by Republic Locomotive Works and are numbered L903 to L909. They entered service between 1990 and 1991. The MPA AC-3s are from the R156 contract and are numbered OL912 to OL939. They entered service between 2012 and 2013. The new WabTech locomotives are known as the R355 and are being delivered and tested as of June 2025. They are numbered HL001 to HL025 and will be capable of running on batteries in addition to its diesel engine, reducing fumes in the tunnels. The New York City subway has a plethora of flat cars at its disposal to transport equipment and materials around the system. The first model are the 20 R49s, numbered F165 to F184 and built in 1972 by the Maxon Corporation. Next are the 8 R51As, F142 to F149, and 15 R51Bs, F185 to F199, built in 1976, also by Maxon. There are 24 R72s, numbered F200 to F218, F221 to F223, and PF219 to PF220, which were built by the Garrett Corporation in 1983. 30 flat cars were refurbished under the R101 contract, with a further two under the R101A contract. The R101s are numbered F500 to F529, and the R101As are numbered F531 to F532. The R101s were refurbished by L.B. Foster in 1987, and the R101As were refurbished by the subway in 2001. There are 38 R141s numbered F601 to F638 that were built by AMF Techno Transport in 1997. There are 78 R157s numbered F640 to F677, which were built by Kawasaki in 2001. Last are the R352s, of which there are 145. They are numbered F801 to F944 and were built by Harsco Rail between 2019 and 2021. This makes a grand total of 360 general purpose flat cars on the New York City subway. A second part of the R157 order was 16 flat cars specifically designed to carry continuous welded rail, which are long segments of rail without any joints in them, eliminating the clickety clack sound associated with trains. They are numbered ACR01 to ACR08 and BCR01 to BCR08. The other type of specialized flat car are the 28 R58s, which were designed to carry garbage collected from stations to be disposed of in a central facility. They are numbered RF01 to RF27 and are known as refuse flat cars in subway parlance. They are built by Fuji Heavy Industries in 1983. 27 R254s are in the planning space to replace the R58s. There are three R103 gondola cars that are used to transport ballast. They are numbered D437 to D439 and were built by L.B. Foster in 1990. There are 18 R80 hopper cars and 10 R116 hopper cars for a total of 28 cars. The R80s are numbered H280 to H297 and were built by Maxon in 1983. The R116s were built by Taral in 1989 and are numbered H310 to H319. The subway has a fleet of cars that it uses in the event of flooding to remove flood water from the tunnels. The three R65s numbered PC01 to PC03 contain the actual pumping equipment. They were built by Kawasaki in 1989. Additionally, the four R110A A cars are being converted into pump and generator cars to each. Some of the cars in the R71 contract contain hoses and related equipment converted from older passenger cars. Two R17s, P6835 and P6899, one R21, P7121, and six R22s, P7346, P7376, P7413, P7432, P7571, and P7629 were converted. The six R110A B cars were also converted into host cars and are numbered P8002 to P8004 and P8007 to P8009. Rail adhesion cars spray a gel-like substance onto the rails to improve adhesion of cars in leafy conditions. There are two types currently in service, both of which are passenger cars. Two R30s numbered 8429 and 8558, and one R33 numbered 8885 have been converted into rail adhesion cars. Rail grinding is exactly as it sounds. The rails are ground down to remove imperfections due to wear and tear, which extends the life of the rails. Rail grinders on the subway are provided by Lowram, which is a company that specializes in track maintenance and specifically rail grinding. 
The R-127s and R-134s are a fleet of motor cars designed specifically to haul refuse or garbage trains through the system. Both models were built by Kawasaki, with the R-127s being built from 1990 to 1991, and the R-134s being built from 1994 to 1996. There are 10 R-127s, numbered EP-001 to EP-010, and 8 R-134s, numbered EP-011 to EP-018. Because the cars lack air conditioning, they are often replaced with general-purpose work motors in the summer months. The R-161s are a fleet of 39 cars converted from R-33s that are used to transport work crews around the system. They were converted from 1999 to 2007 and carry the numbers RD-400 to RD-406 and RD-408 to RD-439. RD-440 and RD-441 were also part of the R-161 rider car order, but were converted again into de cars. The R-74s are a pair of signal supply cars built by Fuji Heavy Industries in 1984. They carry the numbers SO1 and SO2. The R-356s are under planning to replace them and will also consist of two cars. The subway operates a fleet of 10 snowthrower cars, which blast snow off the tracks. There are two R-146s numbered ST-101 and ST-102 and built by RPM Sag in 2003, as well as eight R-190s numbered ST-301 to ST-308 and built in 2013, also by RPM Tech. The subway also has a fleet of at least five snow blasters, which use jet engines to melt snow on the tracks. They are numbered JB-1 to JB-5. The R-66s are a fleet of three tank cars that were built by Fuji Heavy Industries in 1983. They carry the numbers T204 to T206. The subway has four track geometry cars, TGCs, and service. These cars carry complex instruments that allow them to measure the track for any defects that can then be fixed before problems occur. The first TGC, TGC1, is of the R59 model and was built by Placer in 1984. The second TGC, TGC2, there's a pattern here, is of the R63 model and was also built by Placer, but this time in 1988. TGC-3 and TGC-4 are of the R-152 model and were built between 2005 and 2006, once again by Placer. Vacuum trains are used to suck up garbage and debris on the trackway before it catches fire or causes other problems. The subway has three vacuum trains, known as vac tracks, and the model number is R-251. The cars are numbered VT-301 to VT-303, VT-401 to VT-403, and VT-501 to VT-503 and were built in 2018. Need to do some welding on the go? Then the R56 welding unit has you covered. This two-car unit was built by Maxton in 1981, and the cars carry the number W301 and W302. The R33s were a fleet of passenger cars that were retired in 2003, and 23 of them have been kept around to provide traction for work trains on the A division when diesel locomotives aren't needed. They have had their numbers modified by putting a 1 at the beginning. 48 R42s are also being used as motors for work trains on the B division. These cars were retired in 2020 and were immediately pressed into service upon retirement. That was a very long list, but we made it through. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking it as well as subscribing to the channel. Also consider supporting me on Patreon, a link to that is in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.